Not seeing any more red dots in here, so... Holy sh... Okay. Sneaky, sneaky! More sneaky, sneaky in here. There's a door and a toolbox. Come on, wrench! <laughs> My prayers have been answered! Just about everything in here. What can I get you? Armor? Clothing? I got jobs too if you're a little light in the pockets. <laughs> no pun intended. If you buy now, I'll even give you a special discount on your next purchase. Friends will be jealous of that. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and start sweeping this town in. The intention is to do all of the POIs, so we'll do trade requests along with that as long as those quests are in this town. Um, it is my goal to, to hit every POI in this town before we leave, uh, just because we can. Uh, so anyway, you saw in the opening montage there that I found a trader, Joel, 
Uh, so what I did uh, when I went back and got the iron pickaxe, which I did do, so we got that now. We went back to Trader Chin and grabbed that. Um, I I went back to the the wasteland, uh, to that cop car that we had broken into but hadn't actually opened it, and I realized there was a Trader Joel there, which is pretty damn amazing. So I went through, uh, you know, the Trader there, and I, sh I showed you the highlights of that. And I also followed the highway in the wasteland all the way to here. But then when it started turning north again, I turned around and came back and uh, cut across through here. That's that new trader wrecked that I found and then came down to Trader Gen to get the, um, the pay axe from her. But I didn't go back into the town here in the bird biome. All right. So that gets us caught up with that. And... Um, Let's see what else we got. I got something. I got stuff in here to build something. I don't remember what the hell it was. <laughs> I was going to do something. Um, I, I do want to build the workbench because I can do that now. The problem, though, is that I don't have enough mechanical parts. We need 20 mechanical parts. And since I do not have a wrench yet, I can't easily get those. So we'll just have to keep hopefully, you know, looting those until we get to 20 or we find a wrench to get the ones that, you know, the rest of the mechanical parts that we need to make. The workbench. Um, oh, I know why I have this, uh, because we can make a level two claw hammer, uh, which we're going to need uh, for Horde Knight, which is coming up. So let's go ahead and make that orange claw hammer. It is day 13. Uh, we're pretty much ready to go. We're going to do more or less the same thing uh, in the Horde base over there in Dick's Diner for Horde Knight 14. I have a maybe a little bit of shore enough to do, but we're, we're pretty much good to go as far as that is concerned um so that is the plan for horde 14 and then after you know 14 we'll kind of see where we are with that all right let's go ahead and get this water made up here let's see i have one point to spend and i have decided to put that point into lock picking let's do it there it's a done deal so uh, in terms of level one points what is left is mother load I'd like to put a point in mother load. I might put a point in pack mule. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of pondering whether or not I want to actually waste a point. Uh, well, I shouldn't say waste, but spend a point on that. Uh, but we're definitely going to do mother load. Um, I want to, oh, we're probably going to go ahead and do living off the land um, so we can get, you know, extra stuff and, uh, you know, cheaper for, for crop plots. And... I might do run and gun. I mean, that that's never a bad one to take for sure. And then once we do those, I think we're ready to start specializing in one of these attributes. And I'll have to decide which one of that, uh, you know, which one we're going to do. Oh, actually, hold on. I, I skipped over a couple. If we go back to perception, um, lucky looter and salvage operations too. I mean, there's no, there's no wrong way to, to go, you know, by putting points into one of those two as well. So yeah, a few more, few more points into these level ones before we start specializing in a particular um, attribute. And that is the plan. Um, some one of you guys left me a comment and you said it's it's actually a, a better idea to to start specializing right away because you get better weapons. I get that. I agree with it uh, in terms of the fact that you can get better weapons. But dudes, I'm I, I don't min max this game. I just play the game and I have fun with it, and I take whatever I feel like taking at the time, so to speak. I mean, that's not to say that it's completely random either. I you know there is a little bit of a method to my madness. But here's the thing, you know, I've been playing this game. I've I've got over five thousand hours in this game, guys, and I have never in my entire career of playing Seven Days to Die, whether it's vanilla or uh, even a modded version you know, been wanting later on in the game. I'm all, you know, I will always get everything that I need and then more, uh, you know, eventually. So I'm just not too worried about it. So just letting you know that. Okay. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. We do have a quest uh, that it, that is in town. It is that, um, what the hell is it called? Let's take a look. The, uh, Crotalis rest area. Um, so we're going to go do that first and then after that, we'll do the turn-in. And, you know, as long as Rekt continues to give us quests in this town, and specifically quests for POIs that we haven't done yet in this town, we'll, we'll keep doing them because then, you know, why not? But if he, you know, if we start getting into a situation where we're getting quests that, you know, we've already done, then we'll probably start doing some random questing too. 
look at this we have another cop car and uh, so let's break into it see if there's any possible chance let's hit this tools car too come on wrench wrench please give me a wrench oh man okay well you know what that doesn't suck though that's decent stuff um there's i think always a chance that you won't call in a horde when you break these open we could try and lock pick it too but yeah let's just try the break open method it's funner more exciting nope <laughs> fat chance of that right okay oh, wow we got a feral a, a feral white to be precise all right we'll come back and um get that cop car later let's just keep on keeping on okay here's our quest location the crotalis rest area i am not a hundred percent sure if i've actually ever done this poi seems like it's probably a new poi oh shit he's still chasing me just like last time what the hell you guys need to learn when to give up all right so we are at a render distance from those guys and i think we're okay now and i saw a chicken up here zomba doodle over that way holy shit there's what no way come on game really what the hell <laughs> i mean i don't really give a shit about the arlene so much but the feral white yeah he concerns me a little bit all right let's go up the road a little further arlene if you insist on being killed well we're gonna accommodate you even though you're feral which is a little scary Okay. Ouch. All right, is that white still coming too? Uh All right, I'm going to say that he gave up and or despawned. Arlene was still honest because she's just so fast, you know, really fast, S scary fast, especially if she's feral like that. Damn it. Okay. That hurt. Um, I don't, I don't. I want to really spend that. Uh, we do have that one point in Huzuma, was it, right? Healing factory. Yeah, so let's let's see if we can get away with just allowing our health to come back over time. Got a purse here. Nine dollar make it holla. Okay, we're back at the rest area. Let's make sure we're all reloaded here. I should have actually done that already, but I didn't. Better late than never. Um, let's see. Let's loot this first before we start the quest. We'll do a little bit of cheese looting. Okay, that's all good stuff. Iron. Oh, snake. Can you... Yeah, you can just hop right up on over the thing because that's what snakes do, apparently. That car is not lootable. Um, I think that's all we'll do. Let's put you, 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 uh, not you. How about you? And we'll ditch you too. All right. Most of my bike inventory is taken up with uh, medical stuff. And I am now keeping my coin in the bike so we don't. I have the same issue that we did the last time. We'll take that and we'll take that. All right, let's do this. This is a clear quest. We got to kill everything. Two repair kits. That doesn't suck. We're not hanging on to leather or not leather, lead. 
Lead's the easiest thing in the world to mine. And I do have lead near the base, so not going to worry about it. Um, Did that reset, or is that just... Did I miss that? Nice, four lockpicks. Can we get into this without waking these guys up? Look at that! Oh! All right, harvesting tools. And that is probably worth throwing a pipe on and selling. So I think we'll hang on to it. Forge ahead. Beautiful. That car is still not lootable. We have a new snake friend here. Hop on over the fence, buddy. There you go. That's an amazing feat for a rattlesnake, I have to say. Get the plastic from that. Take both of those things. There's our pipes. All right, let's repair this. And we might as well use those to top these guys off too. I see two red dots. We can close that door if we need to. Can we just get his attention? Yeah, okay. Come on out, bud. How in the hell did I miss? And it's not allowed. Missing is not allowed, especially when my health is only halfway down. I see a foot over there. Who are we dealing with? Ronnie McDonnie. Come on out, buddy. Let's dance. Dancing we have done. That gives us glass, which we don't actually need right now. Not seeing any more red dots in here, so... Holy shit! Why didn't I see that red dot? What are you? You're a janitor. Come on out and play. As long as you're not like biker or something. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky! More sneaky sneaky in here. There's a door and a toolbox. Come on, wrench. <laughs> My prayers have been answered. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. <coughs> we have a workbench on the agenda, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed we do. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I have a lot of nitrate that I have um, in my... Oh, that's a bad loot room. Oh, shit. Um. Hmm. All right, tell you what. Let's cheese. Hello, ladies. Got a double there. A double and a half. Oh, shit. Get some bleeds going. Edgar? Sledgehammer sandwich, buddy. And that's it. All right. Rest area is pretty easy lemon squeezy. Toilet pistol. Leads out to the back. All right. Um, let's go ahead and hit that toilet. Is 
Uh, yeah, it looks like that always gives us glass. You know what? Let's take this right now because we are hurt. And you never know what we might run into on the way back. Mo Power Electronics. Uh, vehicles improves vehicle crafting. Okay. And wiring. This we will sell to the trader. Uh, what does that do? Enforcer barter. Oh, nice. Bartering. Um, okay. Well, no, we don't want to wear that normally. Ravioli will hang on to. We got some muffled connectors, advanced muffled connectors to be precise. By the way, I am now wearing blue uh, primitive stuff, uh, but we still only get one mod slot, which kind of sucks. Oh, shit. I guess I can't put that on there. All right, we'll hang on to those for when we get other types of armor then. Should get plastic out of that, right? Yeah, okay. So... Guess that, uh, we got some toities here that we need to loot. Preferably to find water and not paper. Not that paper sucks. I mean, we need paper too for shotgun shells and stuff. But I'd rather have water. <coughs> Gazuntite. All right, let's grab this yucca because yucca. Take all of that stuff and take that and the plastic. And we have a Zikarua out here. A Yo Zombo. Yucca. Come on, yo. You didn't need that face, did you? I don't think you did. Uh, I think this will give us plastic. Or, or cloth. Cloth's good, too. And I don't think we need anything from the vending machines right now. This is kind of a cool POI. It's the first time I've ever seen it. A decent amount of things to loot here. Chrysanthemum seed. Not really something we need living in the forest. I'm not going to actually harvest that. I think we're done here. All right, I'll meet you guys back at Rex. Grave digger mod. Nice. This is a piece of shit. We don't need it. And more ammo. I love it. Challenge Survivor Long is complete. Take a look see at that. And we're going to drop a few things off before we go see Rec Depu. Let's see. What is this challenge? Oh, I guess we got some other challenges too. So this was Meet Jin. This was Meet Joel. This was Open a Trade Route. Um, this was Enter Burnt Forest, Enter Wasteland, and Survivor Long. And we got another skill point. Look at us and our bad selves. Nice. Let's put that stuff in there. We're going to hang on to you. We're going to put the Grave Digger mod on here. Uh, looks like we have two slots, so that's even better. Ammo could go in there because we have two full stacks right there. What's this? Oh, that's Yucca Fruit. Okay, so that we want in food. This we want in seeds. This we want in food. We will cook up... Uh, some more water here. We're going to sell that to Rectipoo. We're going to wear those while we sell stuff to Rectipoo. Uh, as far as seeds go, what do we got going on here? I had some potatoes in here that I harvested. So I got a pumpkin and two blueberries because I can make blueberry pie now. So we're just waiting for those seeds. 
All right, you go in there. We're selling that to wrecked. That goes to wrecked. This we should probably fix up and sell to wrecked. I've got plenty of repair kits, a total of 15. Uh, what does this sell for? 25. What does this sell for? 37. Yeah, probably worth repairing that for selling purposes. Because now it's worth 100. Are these both the same? 36. Three, yeah, okay. So we'll sell that pistol. Actually, we'll sell this one. All of that could go in there. Armor parts. I'm going to start hanging on to armor parts. Because eventually, you know, we're going to want to start making our own armor. That could go in there. And we have, we actually have some concrete. Look at that. All right. Well, hang on to that for Horde Knight usage. We don't need to take the hammer with us, but we'll take it for Horde Knight. This, uh, let's actually take this wrench with us and let's wrench some cars because we need another 13 mechanical parts and then we can make uh, the workbench. So... We're going to hang on to that. Uh, put it up here, though, because I don't want to sell it. This is all stuff to sell. Okay, we got that water there. Let's just put the water in here. I've got a total of 13 uh, just water. Um, I'm not going to continue to convert that into red tea because, you know, we're starting to get enough water to where we might use some of it for cooking purposes. And we are hungry. Oh, my God. We are very hungry. So... Let's go ahead and throw back, what do we get, 36, 118, maybe we might do one more of those too, okay, yeah, so we might throw back one more of those, and then let's throw back a few red teas, well, probably just two red teas is all we need, and I think we're golden, all right, let's go say hi to Wrecked. All right, you know what? We got that extra point, and now is a good time, I think, for us to put that point into salvage ops because uh, we're going to take a few cars apart to get some mechanicals. We'll do that on the way back from Rex. All of these vehicles in this you know, nearby vicinity I've already looted, so we can take those apart. Hey, bitch, what's up? Is there something you didn't we agree your first job was going to be free? No, we did not agree. Um, I'm going to take the crafting skill magazine, I think. Bundle. All right. Let's take a look at your inventory. But don't expect me to cook it. Let's. Okay. Let's wear these because we get the extra 2%. Enforcer sunglasses. Selling to even a dumbass like you. Sell all of that. That gets a 666 coin. It's the devil's money. All right. So we got that. And that um, have you reset? That's all you buy? You want something? Day 16. Well, I yeah, I think he has reset. Let's go see what, what, let's see what he has in his inventory. Time? Oh, shut up, dude. You're such an asshole. We could start thinking about maybe buying those things for our dew collectors, but I don't think they're essential. Uh, we have plenty of water. It's coming in at, at a, a decent enough rate, so I think we won't worry about that right now. I just want to see what else. He's got a bunker buster. Kind of pricey, but he does have it. This would be nice for a hunting rifle, but again, not essential. Impact bracing mods, certainly good. Uh, it would be nice to have an iron shovel. And there's the bellows. Okay, because we already have the anvil. We looted that, so the bellows would be nice too. Um. All right, what else? Handgun. Da, 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 da. If he had mining um, uh, uh, armor, I'd be interested in that, but he doesn't, so. Okay, so I am interested in the... Oh, wait, helmet light? That's actually the first thing we need to be looking for. Nope, still doesn't have the helmet light. None of these traders so far have had that. They've really made that a bitch to find now. Uh, it's kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. 
All right, what was the thing I was somewhat interested in? The iron shovels. I am interested that and the, bell, uh, the bellows. So both of those together would be, what, 28, 29, 40. I knew you were right. a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> I'm a cheap motherfucker. Exactly. All right. I think I'm going to buy those two things because it's only money, right? And we will come across a lot more when it's all said and done. We can make a uh, pipe pistol quality two or three. Stone quality five. All right. And then what's this? This is a shoddies. Pipe quality four. That's better than what we have. So we will do that one for sure. And we'll upgrade our stone. Well, the only... Th we don't need stone tools anymore. Because we're going to buy the shovel. Well, no, we need it for the axe. I, I still don't have an iron axe yet. Quit gawking. Either buy something or piss off. Piss off, dude. Piss off. Okay, we're going to buy that. And we're going to buy this. There. A sale is a sale. Even, Even if, if it it's to a, to a scumbag, scumbag like you. you. Yep, exactly. All right, jobs. I need stuff to the south. Any of these would be fine because they're all within town. Um, yeah. Uh, they just can't be a POI that we've already well, done. Come to think of it, I do have a test. Slum of Apartments. That's where like we you. just broke into that cop car. So maybe it'll refresh the cop car. Yeah, Let's do that. Jackass. Just don't pay by the hour. All right, man. We're doing good. We are doing good. Making progress. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of wrenching on the way back. I'm going to continue wrenching until we have at least 13. Is that what we need? Yeah, I think 13 more um, mechanical parts so we can make our workbench. I, have, I believe I have everything else I need for the workbench. It's just the mechanical parts. Let's hit this vehicle up here first. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's hit this vehicle first. I believe we get mechanical parts also from chopping carts, too. Yep, I sure do. Look at that. All right, that gets us eight mechanical parts. Let's grab some plastic from this. Where is my axe? My eyeballs are not seeing my axe. It's right here. If that was a fucking rattlesnake, it would have jumped over the fence and then bit me. Harvest mechanical parts is complete. Nice. Nice. Hey, how'd you guys wake up? I killed you before. All right. Well, you know, extra XP, and it might be a good idea. Oh, I guess I don't have my Molotovs with me, so we'll do this the hard way. For the XP. Very nice. So we can't wrench this thing, huh? Well, yeah, we can. We can wrench some of it, not all of it. Oh my god. This thing's taking forever to wrench. <laughs> it only lets you do like the bed of the vehicle. Alright, you know what? Screw that. I'll come back maybe and wrench it some other time when I have more skill or a better tool. That's just taking too long. Let's hit this van here. I already have way more mechan uh, mechanical parts that I need, but we might as well wrench our way home because we're going to need mechanical parts and all the other goodies that we're getting for other things as well.
All right, we have everything we need to make a workbench. Uh, so let's cue that up. We're going to need five duct tape, which means we're going to need to make some duct tape. Four more to be, uh, be precise. Let's do that. And we're going to need 100 nails. So we're going to need to make some of those. And we're going to need 25 iron. All right, so let's make some nails in here. We, oh, shit. I don't have much iron. Well, I've got iron to smelt. And we also now have the uh, bellows, which helps us smelt faster. It is a beautiful thing. All right, let's get that uh, iron smelted so we can get those nails made. Looks like I made myself some arrowheads and some more iron ingots, which is a good thing. Let's use the bacon and eggs. We will put the enforcer glasses in here for now and we'll you take those to the trader when I remember to do it, which will probably be never knowing me. Let's make let's see these stack at 150, right? So let's make 42 more iron arrows for now. Take ourselves a red tea. All right, so we just need nails now. Do we have enough stuff in here to make uh, how many more nails? Uh, 76. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> 75. All right, let's craft 75 nails. Um. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's make ourselves a green pipe shotgun. So we'll scrap you. We're going to need 10 pipes and five glue. Okay, we'll get that crafting and let's grab our nails here and we'll make our workbench. And we will be moving up in the world with this new workbench. Six minutes and 15 seconds. That's going to take a long time. All right. We've got our upgraded pipe shotgun. We no longer need the stone shovel. Take the mods off of that, and we will put the grave digger and the blade on that shovel to make it a little bit better. We can scrap this. However, we are still... Um, relying upon a uh, stone axe for the moment. So let's make a level five stone axe. All right, let's modify this. Um, I want to take the uh, iron breaker off of there and put that on here. All right, so we just need to wait for four and a half minutes for our workbench to finish. Okay, workbench is finally done. Uh, we'll just set it right here next to the uh, thingamadoodle. Uh, you're still growing. Okay. And let's see, we got a couple of achievements here. We got workbench. And we got a point, nice. Harvest mechanical parts, harvest electrical parts. And we're, oh, wow, look how many points that gave us into the next level. That's awesome. Okay, so for our next thing, uh, let's take a look. So I st I'm interested in Lucky Looter. Um, I'm, in I'm interested in Mother Load. I'm interested in Run and Gun. And I'm interested in better barter of the all of those i think oh and leaving off the land too interested in that but i think out of all of those what we're going to do is we're going to take mother load next because i'm going to do some mining overnight and that gets us 20 percent more product got a dude down here uh where's our rifle here Let's put you on here.
Got him. If that wasn't obvious. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, if we look at this, can I make lock picks now? Lock pick. I can. All right. So now that we can make lock picks, we can make forged iron easily enough. We can get mechanical parts easily enough now that we have the wrench. We're going to start using lock picks on things like cop cars because we can just make a shit ton of them and when I break 30 of them trying to get in and I piss and moan about it, we'll be okay because I can I can make them pretty much indefinitely now. And it'll be good. All right. Also, um, we should now be able to make uh, ammo, right? So if we go here, we can make all of the ammo types so we can start using our guns more frequently than we have been because up to this point, I've mostly been using them as oh shit weapons. But we'll continue using our sledgehammer and our bow and stuff too. Uh, for sure. And uh, I can make I can make steel arrows because I read the book. The problem though is that uh, we, we need a crucible to make the steel itself, which is still a little ways off. So basically everything up to this point is something we can make. We can't quite make AKs yet. But we're making good progress, ladies and gentlemen. And I think we're in really good shape under the circumstances. So I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take these mechanical parts and this iron and just make myself a buttload of lock picks. Uh, a full stack of them, which I think is 50. I think we're out of time for this episode. We made a lot of good progress. It was a great episode, but what I'm gonna do is spend the rest of today uh, probably just doing some mining, maybe doing some more salvaging too. We got lots more cars around here that I've already looted and just need to be salvaged. And then of course, hey, don't be doing that. Uh, tomorrow is Horde 14, but we'll probably go out and you know do do some another POI or three you know, during the daytime and then I did the horde at night. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot I need to do on the base. I'll go over and check it, of course, and make sure it's ready to go. But we're pretty much going to just use it again exactly in the same way that we used it for Horde Night 7. That is the plan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.